Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we're going to be discussing using a naming convention for documents and files that you upload into Evernote in the team shared space. Now we've already discussed the fact that you and your team should place individual items inside of one particular note and that those notes were sometimes searchable in the case of an office document and sometimes they weren't in the case of a Google document. But now, how should you classify those specific documents within the actual note? And this is important because when a project extends for a long period of time, you can, you can have a lot of notes and not all of them will be relevant and it can actually clog the search when you're actually trying to find something specific. What you want to do is to use a naming convention for the individual files within the note and then make sure that you communicate that naming convention to your entire team. This will make it easy to find specific pieces of content within the Evernote search engine. Now what you want to do is to be intentional and specific about any file name posted within the shared workspace. And that's whether or not you're posting an image, you're posting a Microsoft Word document, a PDF, Whatever it is that you are posting, you want to be intentional and specific about the file name or as intentional as you can be. So let's talk about the basics of a naming convention. Anytime you put a character in the file name, that will actually be the first level of sorting. So if you put a period in the file name, then the actual search engine will look to that period or it'll look to the character first. The second level will be numbers. So if you use a number convention, in that particular case, if you use a number like 0001 or 0002, that will actually sort in a, at the second level. So that is another way of being able to make your file names unique. When you actually place words in your file names, you want to extend and use dashes between the alphabet letters. And then you want to make use of capital letters because this will make it easy to visualize what you're actually seeing. Now, when you're working to be a little more advanced, the key is going to be consistency in exercising the naming convention. So what you can do is you can add in a word that represents a date. So in other words, you can add in a numerical date or even a month and a date. You can add in a project code. And again, the key is going to be consistency. And this will, again, make your searching easier across your notebooks. You can add in a teammate code. So if you have a team that's been together for a specific period of time, you will not only want to use the tagging, but in the specific file name, you want to actually use that teammate code because, again, that will make finding the document as easy as it is. That's really the reason why we want to go as far as to put a naming convention together for the actual documents that go within the notes in Evernote. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.